Here's an MCP server that I've been meaning to try out. It's a MCP server for interacting with your Trello boards and Trello cards within whatever editor you're using. In this case, I'm going to set this up with Claude Code, but you could use VS Code, Cursor, Claude Desktop, whatever MCP client that you are comfortable with. So diving right into the repo, they've got the installation steps down here. For my case, and to keep it simple, I'm going to go ahead and use the npm global option. So I'll copy this command, paste that in. Okay, so that's installed. Now I will go to the second part, which is configuration. You're going to need at a minimum the API key and API token. If you want to specify a board ID and a workspace ID to sort of skip those steps during the agent using the MCP, you can do that, or you can just leave them blank. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute. So first I will generate a token. And in order to do that, I'm going to go to the Trello power up admin portal. I'm going to create a new power up. I'll just call this Claude Code. I'll select my workspace. I'll put in my emails. And I will put in that create. I'll go ahead and generate a new API key. I'll copy this API key. And for now, I'll put it in here. Then I will generate a token manually. So here's my Trello token. I will export that as well. Okay, so then after that's set up, I'll go ahead and go back to the repo. Now they mention using a .n file, which is definitely something you can do, but when you're configuring with Claude code, you can pass in these environment variables directly when you're configuring the server. So that's what I'll do here. So I'm going to type in Claude MCP. This is the command that you can edit and manage your MCP servers with Claude code. Claude just comes from the Claude code CLI. So I'm assuming that you've already got that installed. But if not, go ahead and go install that, come back. And here's how you will add the MCP server. So Claude MCP add, it's going to need a name. So we'll call it Trello and then command or URL. We want to type in the name or the command that the repo uses, which they mention on the repo here. If you install it, globally so here's the command that we'll use and so we'll type that now here's where we will provide those environment variables so trello api key trello api token now I used API token where they're using token. So that'll be something we want to make sure we get right. But I'll just put in the API key and I'll put in their token. What we set here. And if you want to install this globally, you can do a scope on your MCP. And what I'll do is I'll put user so that I can install this to my entire user account, not just a project or whatever local file or project that I'm in. So I'll hit add. All right, so this was added to my Claude. So if I type in Claude MCP list, there we go. We've got the Trello MCP server. So what else? I can do is I believe I can 
Let's see, get the details. Um, but we, we just call it Trello. So Trello. So there we go. It's configured. It's connected. So that means I should be able to. I'll just create a directory here. Fire up Claude. And we will type MCP. So there's Trello MCP server is connected. And we can view the tools here. So there's the list of all of the tools that we have access to. And what I'll do is go ahead and say, list my boards. And we'll go ahead and say, yes. So there we go. We see it's accessing the Trello API. And it's going to list out my Trello boards here. So there's all of my boards. So I will go ahead and say list my div columns or lists within the my invoicer board. So there we go, we've got all of the lists. So now if you're using Claude code and you happen to be using Trello, you can use this in a way that allows you to actually pull in context from Trello and let Claude code, you could have it pulling from a list and just executing on those tasks. So for example, if I say, show the first item in the list on next up. So this is the, a bug on the next up list. Can't remove last line of an item on an invoice. So you can click control R to see more. And here's the description. So if you've got this project running or are working on this project, you could potentially go ahead and say, okay, Claude, using this information, fix this bug and hit enter and Claude will go ahead and attempt to fix that. Since this is just demoing the MCP server, I'm not going to do that here, but drop a like on this video if you want to see me do more of this Claude Trello workflow and see Claude actually execute tasks. You'll also be able to, because you have this MCP server, you'd be able to, for example, have Claude add cards. You could have Claude move cards over once they're complete. You can use Claude to actually manage tasks on your Trello board directly. So, I'm looking forward to trying this out more on a real project. And if you like this content, please subscribe for more. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks.